Hi, this is Zach from YDMI.com, and today I'm going to show you guys how to give your text an engraved look to it. So first thing we want to do is create a new project. So let's go up here to File, and then hit New. Once this loads up, we're going to give the width 500 pixels, and then for the height, we're going to put 200 pixels. So go ahead and do that, and then click OK after you're done. So now our blank project is loaded up. We're going to get it a background color. So let's go down here, click this, and then find it a color. So I'm going to use a light gray. You can use whatever you want, but make sure the background is lighter than the text is going to be. So once you find your background color, go ahead and click OK. Now hit the paint bucket tool and then click your project to give it its background color. So now that that's done, we're going to get the text color. So go down here, click this, and now we're going to choose a darker color than what we used before. So I'm going to use this right here. So a darker gray. So this is the background and then this is going to be the text. So go ahead and click OK. Now we're going to hit the text tool which is right here. It's a uh, T icon. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this over and then type in engrave for my text. And now I'm going to center it a little bit. And there we go. So now we're going to go over here to layers. And if your layers uh, window isn't right here, go ahead and go up here and click window go down a little bit and layers is right there or you can hit F7 and that should bring it up so go ahead and click on the layer that your text is on it should have a text icon right there and it should say the text that you typed in right there go ahead and right click that go up here to blending options click that and now that we have the layer style open we're gonna go to drop shadow and click that okay so for the blend mode we're gonna put normal and then we're gonna make it white instead of black so go ahead and click OK now for the angle we're going to go to about 90 degrees so where's that there we go 90 degrees and then for the distance let's go ahead and put one pixel for the spread leave it at zero and then for the size we're going to put zero pixels and now let's go to opacity and then go to about um, 35 percent so now you should have blend mode at normal should be white opacity should be 35 percent Angle should be at 90 degrees, distance should be at 1 pixel, spread should be at 0%, and size should be at 0%. And if you can't follow along with this, I have a written tutorial on it on my website. So go to the link in the description below, and it should have the settings that I used in this video, and it might have a PSD file too for you to download. Uh, it doesn't have to be these exact uh, settings. Go ahead and play around with it a little bit to get, uh, to get it the way that you like it. So now that we've got that done for Drop Shadow, let's go down here to Inner Shadow. And now we're going to take the opacity to about uh, 45%. Let's go to 45%. And then for everything else, just leave it at how it is and then click OK. And right there, we have an engraved look to our uh, text right here. So I hope this could help. Check out the written tutorial on how to do it and download the PSD file if you can follow along. And uh, subscribe to this channel and like this video if it helped you. Thanks for watching.